Hello everyone this is Dr Noor today we are going to understand near point of convergence or npc which is a indirect assessment of positive and negative fusional convergence it is most frequently used criteria by optometrists for diagnosing convergence insufficiency to measure npc different target have been suggested it can be measured either by accommodative target or using red green filter and pen light traditional method is to bring accommodative target closer to patient's eye until patient reports diplopia means patient will start seeing accommodative target as double or even examiner can notice break in his fusion here on the screen you can clearly see a flick in the patient's eye after a point this is recorded as break point then you need to measure the recovery point by moving the target slowly away from the patient until fusion is reported or even the examiner can notice the alignment of the eyes this break or recovery can be measured using a regular scale you just have to calculate the distance from the accommodative target to the eye and these all values are recorded in centimeter Another method of measuring NPC is using a pen light with red green glass. Here patient is made to wear red green glass and examiner slowly moves the torch towards the patient eye until patient notices two light or diplopia which is considered as a break point. And again it is measured using a scale from eye to the torch. To measure the recovery the torch is moved slowly away until the patient start reporting single which is a fusion point this point is considered as a recovery point more amount of recession is commonly seen in convergence in sufficiency please remember to make this test more reliable and sensitive it should be repeated several times and the most recommended frequency is 10 times to get useful clinical information npc should be measured both with accommodative and non accommodative target also mention break and recovery for the subjective or the objective values for example if patient's reports break at 7 then move away the target to make it single and if he says that he can see single at 9 it should be recorded how it has been displayed on the screen even examiner can also notice the break and recovery look for the flick or deviation in the eye that will be considered as a break point and slowly move away the target when the eye becomes aligned that is a point when patient attains fusion and that is considered as a recovery point while measuring npc using non accommodative target like pen light and red green glass patient itself will notice two light when break occurs it will recover back when you move the target little backward here objective assessment is difficult because examiner will not be able to see the patient eye as eyes are covered under red green glass and also make a qualitative comment whether npc receded or did not receded on repeated test now let me know what will be the subjective recording when patient did not reported any break on accommodative target Thank you for watching till the end. Hope this video was useful and informative. Please like, subscribe and share ahead.